Just how do you start up a .com website? The process seems really complicated to some, so in this video we're going to be taking that process and splitting it up into different categories to try to simplify it. So this video is going to be split up into three parts and hopefully by the end of these three videos you'll have a better grasp on how to make a website and ultimately put it on the web. So the simple answer to the question that you guys are all asking is you buy it. You could head over to a website like godaddy.com and purchase a domain name for about 12 bucks a year. But it doesn't end there. Just what is a domain name exactly? What is all this hosting nonsense that's written everywhere? And how do you go about actually making your website to put it online? And also, how do you get all of that for free? Stay tuned and we'll be answering all of those questions in detail. So just how do you start on making your first website? Well, there are several different types of websites out there, so the answer is far from straightforward. But let's attempt to break this down. If you own some sort of business and just need a static page to website with maybe a couple pages and some pictures, you're looking for an HTML slash CSS based website. Now you could do one of three things. The first thing you could do is actually hire someone to make it for you. As a side note, I offer this service at my website octodesigner.com. Or you could actually learn how to make it yourself. This is probably the easiest type of website to make and I actually offer a bunch of tutorials on how to make your own website at my website octotoots.com or on my YouTube channel. Or lastly, you could use an online website maker to simplify the process for you. Websites like freewebs.com or wix.com do this for free while websites like squarespace.com will charge you for a premium service. If you want a blog type website so you could update it with text, pictures, videos and more you also have a few options. You could either hire someone to make it for you, which could get really expensive. You could use free services like WordPress.com, Blogger.com, or Tumblr.com. And these services usually supply you with a free domain name and a free hosting account. But again, the domain name is going to look something like yourwebsite.wordpress.com. So just keep in mind that if you want a different domain name, you could either purchase one or get one for free and then link the two together. Lastly, if you want to sell products online, you want to build what's called an e-commerce website. E-commerce websites could be built if you have a lot of coding knowledge or if you're willing to hire someone who does. But as usual, you could use online websites that can help simplify the process for you. Websites like storeenvy.com, yokaboo.com, or shopify.com all provide this service. Now some of them might take a small percentage of your earnings as a compensation. And again, most of these websites will provide you with a free hosting account and a free domain name. But if you want a different domain name, you could always purchase one separately and link the two together. Now there are of course way too many different types of websites to name, so I just picked out the most prominent ones. But the process for any website is pretty much the same. You have three options. You could either build it yourself, hire someone to build it for you, or use a free or paid service online that helps you build it. And as I said before, if you're determined to build the website yourself, I have dozens of other tutorials that can help you with that. So feel free to take a look and message me if you need any help. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.